Hey, my friends, and welcome to your strength and speed leg workout. So today we're going to be going through six rounds of leg and butt exercises. The first part of each round will be a strength move. So we will be doing a weighted exercise for 60 seconds, taking a quick breath basically to drop down the dumbbells and then switching into a plyometric version of the exercise. So this is going to be utilizing uh, metabolic effects rest based training. So if you need to take breaks throughout the within the interval, do it. I definitely will be. This workout one round takes about 13 and a half, 14 minutes. Um, so I would suggest going through it twice for a full workout. We're going to just get started. I have a chair that I'll be pulling in when I need it, and I also have a set of moderate dumbbells. So I have 15s, I could probably go heavier, but I did a leg workout yesterday, and so my legs are cooked. Um, that's it. See the full breakdown on my blog for more info, but we're gonna get started with a reverse lunge left. We're sticking on the left side for this whole round. I'm going to go ahead and start my timer. There we go. Grab those dumbbells, we're going to be holding them up, and we are stepping back with the right leg, working the left leg. We're gonna do this for 60 seconds. Now, if this arm position gets tiring, drop them by your sides, or you can drop the weight all together, but if possible, I want you doing a front-loaded reverse lunge on your left. 20 seconds left. That left leg and butt should be feeling it. All right, drop those dumbbells. And for our plyometric version, jump lunges. So we're doing an alternating jump lunge. Drop down as low as you can, explode up. You will be feeling this on that left leg. So take breaks as you need. 60 seconds is a long time to be doing jump lunges. So if you need a mod, you can do step back lunges, or I would prefer that you do a lunge with the jump at the top. That way you still get some of that plyo action without as much intensity. Almost done. All right, grab that chair. We're sticking with that left leg, left step up, okay? Just that left leg. What I want you to do is not push up with that right leg, okay? There's a tendency for people to put their leg up and then explode off, of a, off the standing leg. I want that leg to just move with your body. I want all the force to be coming from your left leg pressing into the chair and squeezing your butt at the top. 10 seconds left. Oh my goodness, my left butt cheek is not happy with me. All right, drop those weights. And we're going to be going into a power step up. Staying on that left leg, stepping up, and hopping at the top. 
If you can go faster than me, do it. If you want to have some light dumbbells or wear a weighted vest, go for that as well. But you're keeping, hi Gina, that left leg up on that step. You should be feeling this in your quad, in your butt. I even feel it a little bit in my hamstring. Hi. seconds. Oh my goodness. All right. We have sumo squats next. And so I want you to grab your dumbbells if you can. You can do this a couple ways. So for the most difficult version, Grab both dumbbells, drop down, and explode up, squeezing your butt at the top. I don't want you bending over, okay? This is not the exercise. You're dropping your butt down like you're sitting in a chair, keeping your back flat, okay? If that's too much weight for you, just get rid of one of the dumbbells. Hold one and drop down. You'll feel this in your legs, those quads, but mostly the inner thighs. Eight seconds left. Awesome job. You can probably guess what the plyo version is going to be. We've got some sumo squat jumps. No dumbbells, wide legs, jumping up into a sumo squat jump. If that, if that is too difficult, I want you to do a sumo squat plus a leg lift. So this again is a little bit more of a plyometric-ish movement, but if you can, join me in the sumo squat jumps for the last 25 seconds. You can do whatever the hell you want with your arms. Most important thing is to squat and not bend over at the top. Great job. We're gonna go into straight squats now. So grab those dumbbells and squat back. Now, again, most important thing is keep your back straight as you squat back. No leaning over, no knees coming up over your toes. Just dropping into that squat. Again, if that's too much weight, goblet squat, hold one dumbbell, and you can go faster, right? If you don't have as much weight, you go up and down a lot more quickly. <sighs> 10 seconds before we move into squat jumps. Now, for the squat jumps, explode as best you can, resting as you need. We've got a little over five minutes left in this round to make this more difficult. 
add some tuck jumps. Nope, not doing those. If you need the mod, just do some body weight squats as fast as you can. lunges, except we are working that right leg, so left leg drops back. So don't let that knee come over the toe. Just make sure you're stepping back far enough so that your knee isn't jutting out too far in front. 20 seconds. We're almost done, guys. dumbbells. I'm grabbing my water before we go into lunge jumps. Okay, so alternating lunge jumps. If you can only do three or four at a time like me before you need a break. That's good, it means you're working hard. I'd rather see you take some breaks than go like this. That's not a lunge jump, okay? So we've got 10 seconds left. Let's do some good lunge jumps for 10 seconds. All right, friends, last round. Grab that chair again. We've got those right leg step ups. Making sure to press into that right leg. That left leg is just along for the ride. Thirty seconds. If you want to make this easier without the without dropping your weight, use a lower step. You can use an aerobic step, a stair in your house. That will make this a little bit easier as well. All right, last round. We have those explosive step ups on the right side now. So. Step, hop. This is your last round, so go as fast as you can. My chair is moving on my hardwood floor, so I'm not going to go super fast because I don't want you to watch me wipe out. And my ass is really getting tired which is what should be happening if you are really pushing into that step. Oh my goodness. 
goodness gracious, 10 seconds. job. That was right around 13, 14 minutes. I am super sweaty <laughs> and tired. Uh, that's a really fun leg workout. I love using this style of training. When I press for time, you get all your bases covered. Cardio, strength, plyometrics, all of it's included. It's a great workout. I hope that you try it out. Let me know what you think, and I will see you next time.